Hey everybody, Nate Chamberlain here talking to you today about the attachments column. Now the attachments column is something that's built into every SharePoint list and every Microsoft lists list, but you don't always need it. For example, I've got a really simple list here where I've got a title of a vendor and their phone number, and I don't really plan to attach anything, but my list came with this attachments column. So when I try to get rid of this traditionally, like pretending it's a normal column that maybe I did add, I would maybe do something like go up to the edit form button in the upper right, choose edit columns, and try to uncheck the box next to attachments. It's not there though. So another thing you might try is going into list settings. I'll go to my settings wheel in the upper right, go to list settings, and I'll check the column section where again, you might think you'd see the attachments column, but it's not there. However, you can still get rid of this uh, by disabling the setting on the list entirely. So it's a little bit different than how we would normally approach what just feels like another column. So uh, in your list settings here, and again, to get here, I just went to the settings wheel and then list settings. Uh, then we go to our advanced settings, and this is where we're going to find the option to disable that attachments column. So I'm scrolling down a little bit, looking for attachments on the left. Here it is, attachments to list items are disabled. I choose that, I scroll down, I click on OK. It gives me a warning that says, if I do this, everything that's been attached to a list item in this list previously is going to be deleted. And I say, OK, especially in my case, I don't have any attachments in the list, so it's not a risk. Uh, so check that before you do it, then click on OK. There we go. And let's go back and check and just make sure it worked as expected. I go to my list, I click on new, and there we go. I only have my title and my phone number now. So that's how you disable the attachments column on a list. Now, of course, in reverse, if you don't have the attachments column and you think someone else might have uh, disabled it and you want to enable it again, just do the reverse. Settings, list settings, advanced settings, Go to the attachment section and enabled. And notice this time when we're enabling it, we have this option to add a column to the default view for attachments. I'll leave it on so you can see what that looks like, but you can uncheck that before you click OK if you don't want to see it in your main list view. So I click on OK. We'll go back to the list. And here we are with that attachments column now visible here. I'll see visibly if each list item does have attachments. I'll click on new, and once again, my attachments column is back.